Hello everyone, it's Kershaw Knives Mike. This is Getting to Know Your Kershaw, part 3 of the video series. In this video I will be disassembling and showing you general maintenance on a Kershaw blur. Well, without further ado, let's get started. In the previous video I showed you how to flip the clip on a leak and how to replace the torsion bar, disassemble, clean and reassemble uh, the leak. I'm going to set the leak over to the side and let's start off with the blur. So this is a uh, Tanto blur. As usual before you begin any uh, disassembly procedures you always want to make sure your blade is open. Uh, as I said in the last video you need to do that because otherwise everything's all kind of uh, under pressure inside and when you pop off the front scale the blade can go flying and that's just not cool so yeah we're not gonna do that. Anyway, to start we're going to take out the pivot screw with the Torx T8 driver. Now you may be wondering what is that stuff inside there? That is actually Loctite, um, blue Loctite, that's what we use and that's to make sure that screws don't back out. Um, generally it's a good idea to put like a tiny drop of blue Loctite back on the screw when you screw it back in, but it's not really necessary because we put some in there and generally it'll last there for a little bit. So there we go. And then I'm going to use a Torx T6 driver for the body screws. We go, those are all unscrewed. Now I'm just, all I'm going to do is just pop off the front scale, just like so. There we go. Just like so. And there you have it. All right, so let me explain all the parts that you see here. Um, first of all, here's the front scale or front frame. Instead of a backspacer, we have standoffs or backspacers or whatever you really want to call them. Um, there are these three things right here. And then we also have a stop pin right here. And if we're going to take off the torsion bar plate, we'll need to remove those. But before I go into that, here's the liner lock assembly. That's just kind of pr uh, pressed into there and then it's uh, screwed into there via the two body screws. This is where the stop pin goes, this little hole right here. Um, this is the phosphor bronze washer or bushing and that's the hole for the torsion bar nub. Take this off. Just kind of wiggle it back and forth. There we go. Here's the other side. There's the other washer. You can see that there's some grease in there. Um, if your knife is yucky, again, please clean out all of the gunk that's in there, all the dust and fuzz and whatever's in there, and then re-lubricate the pivot with your uh, lubricant of choice. So there you go. There's that. Now let me take off this front plate. I'm going to take off these standoffs. There's three of them. One two, and three. Press out the screws. Here's the front plate. As you can see, there's some grease in there. Leave the grease in there. Please do. It's good for the torsion bar. It keeps things inside nice and healthy. Um, in this case, the torsion bar is just fine. Um, if you're going to replace it, all you have to do is swap it out. It's pretty, it's fairly simple. Kind of give you a close up of what's inside here. So anyway, I'm just going to kind of put this right back on, like so. Make sure it's in the upright position, and I'm going to start to reassemble the knife. Putting on the three standoffs. Here comes the fun part. Sandwiching it all together. I typically kind of go like this. 
so I can line things up. And again, make sure the torsion bar is in the right, uh, the utmost position. Try to get that nub into the hole. Always, it's gonna, it's gonna make things complicated. Oh, yep, this this is gonna take a little bit of time. Oh no, I got it. There we go. Just like that. Start screwing in the body screws. You have to kind of play with it, kind of get things to get to their proper place. Let's see if that's in there. I can't tell. Nope, oh, looks like I got it that time. See how everything kind of lines nice and neatly in there? You can always double check by kind of going like that, and yes, it does work. As long as you have uh, tension when you start to close the blade, that means the torsion bar is engaged. Back this out just a hair. There we go.